So we're off finishing up um, chapter four, section two. Uh, I got disconnected on this one, so this is gonna be a short video. But um, as we were talking about this, let me review it a little bit here so you know. So we're classification of chemical reactions and we classified them into the four types that you need to know, combination, decomposition, single displacement, and double displacement. We went over those already. And so now we have a picture here of, of decomposition, um, basically is um, basically settling out, get, precipitating out would be um, a type of decomposition. But I want to talk a little bit about this leavening thing. So le um, this is your chemistry in action, leavening agents. So what are leavening, leavening agents? It's a substance that, that causes dough to rise is known as a leavening agent. Yeast would be one of those. And it's basically a type of fungus that ferments and causes these bubbles of ox of carbon dioxide and alcohol to come from a, a chemical reaction that's happening. And so we call this a leavening agent. One of them is sodium bicarb, and it will be decom um, decomposing here. So here we go. Let's go look here. So we have sodium. Let me show you here. So we have sodium bicarbonate, which is NaHCO3, common called baking soda, and then it's um, decomposing into um, two different, two different um, gases, carbon dioxide gas is gonna come out of it and water is gonna come out of it, and there's gonna be a different um, batter there, so, so with the aqueous, so aqueous there, so. So anyway, here's the equation for that. Another leavening agent is baking powder. And it's a mixture of baking soda, a solid stuff substance that forms an acidic solution in water. And the substance um, is known as cornstarch, right? To keep the mixture dry. So here we have, um, as we go through all of this, the deco decomposition would be listed here. So here we have um, the baking powder, let's see. But the, when the water is added to the baking powder, carbon dioxide is produced, which causes the dough batter to rise. And so um, it's calcium dehydrate phosphate forms, and it's often used as the acidic ingredient. So here's the equation. And this equation is a decomposition because these two things are added together, but they end up decomposing into uh, one, two, three, four things. One of them is carbon dioxide, and another is a water, and then two other substances. So that's how it can get kind of complicated with decomposition. I just wanted to go over that. And then let's go into the next real quick here. Here's some pictures here too. This is sodium reacting with water. So we see it turns out to, into a total different. And the single displacement of a reaction of copper and silver nitrate. So basically the copper is kicking out um, the, silver, the silver. So as they're reacting together, the copper kicks out the silver and the silver here is free. Now it turns silver and then the copper nitrate instead of, instead of silver nitrate. See how these two, these two is a chemical reaction. See the color and everything changing in that? That's what happens. I think one of, you'll see one of those. And you'll see here all of these, these are single displacement when one, one of them kicks the other out. See how they're doing? One of them kicks, those are all single displacement. They're displacing another. And, um, and then these here is a double displacement. This is when a reaction of potassium chromate and lead nitrate, they both basically do -si do they change partners. So here we have um, uh, uh, potassium chromate and we have lead nitrate and they change into the mixture changes into um, um, potassium nitrate and lead chromate. They ch totally change here in that picture in a, in a chemical reaction. Okay, the only last thing I want to do here is your, your section 4.2. I'm going to go over those combinations that are written there, and they're pretty quick to show you how to do these. Okay, we have um, the first one. We have aluminum and oxygen I'm combining to form aluminum oxide. Of course, that's a combination reaction. That's a pretty easy one. This one we have hydrogen sulfate, an aqueous hydrogen sulfate onto lithium acid here. This, anyway, they, look, if you look at the equation here, what do you see? Well, you, you see, okay, if you look on this side, you have lithium sulfate and 
um, hydrogen oxide. When I look at this, I look, there's a compound, there's a compound, there's a compound, there's a compound. They're do -si doing they're changing, they're changing partners. So this would be a double displacement. Okay, on to the next one here, C. You'll see, let's move this out of your way, out of the way here. So kind of holding it up there, but. So we have this one here, we have um, NH3, um, which is nitrous, uh, um, um, uh, nitrogen, um, hyd hydrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen here. Well, anyway, the um, hydrogen basically here, as we and the nitrogen separate here, as you say, and kick out the nitrogen actually. So this one here kicks out. This would look like the oxygen. The oxygen is going to combine with um, the hydrogen then and um, make water, but the nitrogen is being kicked out. You know, as the oxygen combines there and turns into um, basically nitrogen. So this is single displacement. And so here's the last one here. We have um, calcium chlorate, and it's um, basically decomposing into calcium chlorate and oxygen. So you have one, you know, decomposing into two, ele two different elements or compounds there. So that would be decomposing. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go over some of the quiz questions um, in a little bit, and then we'll go into the next section and um, we'll be able to do your test.